Welcome Cancer to your August Super Blue Moon reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you over this period. Cancer, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Cancer, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. This blue moon will be taking place on the 19th of August and we are going to be able to feel the blue moon energy for at least a week before and a week after the 19th of August. A blue moon is a very rare occurrence. That is why we have the saying, once in a blue moon. This super moon is in Aquarius, so there is a strong emphasis on all the relationships in our lives. It's time to really go deep and look at our relationships and what they mean to us. It's a time of releasing what is no longer working for us and giving ourselves space and permission to move on to what now works for us and what we connect with. It is also a great time to set meaningful intentions and goals as the super blue moon is elevated with auspicious, intense energy that has longevity. Just a quick side note, please excuse the bruise on my hand. This is a week after I caught it in the laundry rack. I know it might not look good, but it is so much better than it was. I'm going to start off over here with prosperity, and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what prosperity is all about for cancer, please. And we have the Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. My dearest Cancerians, wherever you might be feeling the Nine of Wands energy, tired, depleted, thinking to yourself, is this ever going to break? Is this ever going to end? This could be a relationship that you're struggling with, a situation that you're struggling with, with your family, at work, with your business. But Nine of Wands, as you can see, we've got this wary warrior here, really looking like he has been persevering for the longest time, and he's now had enough. Now, the great news is, whatever area this is for you, and my dear Cancerians, as you can imagine, it's going to be so different for everybody, but whatever area this is that you have truly been pushing and struggling in, things are about to break for you. It is sitting under prosperity, so you are about to be showered with prosperity and with that the gateway opens and now things become possible for you. What you couldn't see before, all of a sudden my dear Cancerians, you've got ideas, you've got insights, you've got plans. Why didn't I think of that? Why can't I do this? How could I have missed that? It all comes flooding in for you and when the gateways open, it opens you up to prosperity. So for example, my dear Cancerians, if you have been stuck, say, coming up with a solution in your business or at work, perhaps you are working on something and it's a very big project or something very substantial that you want to launch and you just cannot figure out the best way to do it. You've been doing your research and you've been speaking to people, you've brought in your boss and you've brought in your colleagues and you just cannot see the best way forward in getting that breakthrough energy of making this project or launch a success. What we see over this full moon period, my dearest Cancerians, there is going to be this energy of a gateway opening for you and things now 
become incredibly clear for you. As you can see here, he is holding the globe. You've got a big picture of things. All that missing information and insight comes flooding in, just as we see here the prosperity being showered down upon you. Because as you see your way forward, so your prosperity becomes a reality. And as you implement what you are seeing and experiencing, all these ideas and epiphanies, so your prosperity comes raining down upon you. So you will get that insight on what was missing with regards to work or your business. It could be, my dearest Cancerians, that you just needed to implement a different marketing strategy or that you needed to have a stronger online presence. It could be anything like that. But it'll come through to you. And when you take that insight and you take that risk to follow it, my gosh, my dear Cancerians, prosperity is now raining down on you. Now, I have just given you a work example. This could come through anywhere. This, my dear Cancerians, could be a relationship. You could be struggling, say, with your significant other. You cannot understand why. But the two of you just do not seem to connect in, to see eye to eye. You push against and fight against each other on every point. Things used to flow previously. You used to be on the same page. But for the past few months or few weeks, you are exhausted in terms of trying to get you and your partner back on track. Over this full moon period, you will take some time, my dear Cancerians, just to reflect and see exactly what is going on. And when you give yourself time and space, the gateway opens for you and you will once again get that rush of insight. And it could be anything, my dearest Cancerians. Maybe you both just need a change and you suggest going on vacation together. Maybe, my dear Cancerians, you are holding on to something or they are holding on to something and there's a lot of passive-aggressive behavior going on. You will get an insight. And over this full moon period, you are encouraged to take action, to move on it, because then you allow prosperity to come in. So prosperity comes back into the relationship. You're able now to speak it out, see your way forward and move on. Very positive message coming through, my dear Cancerians. Now let us see what number 36, Come to the Edge, is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what Come to the Edge is all about for Cancer, please. And we have the Seven of Wands and the world. My dearest Cancerians, as you can see in this image, we have a lot of hearts in the image. You, my dear Cancerians, are being asked to really take a big step out of your comfort zone to come to the edge and jump. Take that leap into the unknown. What I see here with our Seven of Wands, my dear Cancerians, is that you have been putting off doing this for the longest time. And now our blue moon is coming in and asking you to get outside of your comfort zone. Make that phone call that you have been longing to make, but you're so afraid of rejection. Send that email, send that SMS. Because, my dear Cancerians, when you take that leap and you stop pushing against what's meant to be. You open yourself up to the world. And the world tells me, my gosh, what is only waiting for you? You are going to be so surprised. So, my dear Cancerians, if there is somebody that you have been wanting to contact, this could have been a long-lost friend, an ex-partner that you've lost contact with, someone you used to work with, somebody new you met, and you'd like to ask to meet you for a cup of coffee because you believe there's great potential for you to become friends with them. If there is somebody you like romantically that you would like to take the next step forward, you are being told now, come to the edge. My dear Cancers, I know it's not easy, but you are being encouraged over this blue moon 
to take that leap, no matter how scary it feels, the reward we see by you taking the risk, it opens you up to new possibilities, new people and new opportunities. So, this is the time to really be brave, my dear Cancerians, to come to the edge and to take that leap. Do something that's really going to fill your heart. This could be very exciting for you, Cancer. Now let us see what the disseminating moon energy is all about. Take time to breathe out and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this disseminating moon energy is. For Cancer, please. And we have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords. Cancer, you are presenting in this reading as Queen of Cups. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Cups we are speaking about. And as you can see, our Queen is holding the cup facing the rest of the energies we have seen and spoken about. Cancer, you have the emotional wisdom and strength to really push all the limits that you might have set upon yourself when it comes to any relationship. Take a look closely, my dear Cancerians, at all your relationships over our blue moon period. Look at your work, family, friendships and romantic relationships. Where can you push forward? Where can you expand and grow? What do you want out of these relationships? Is there anything you want that you have not got yet? This is where you put your time and energy with prosperity coming out. Cancer, it is incredibly positive because I see you being showered with prosperity in more than one area of your life. You are also being told with Page of Swords coming out here that once you start this, my dear Cancerians, so you start working on your work relationships and you put time and effort into your colleagues and you now look at how you can meet new friends and you join like-minded groups and you phone up people to go out for coffee and lunches and you put time and effort into your love life, whether it is with your significant other or finding somebody to have a meaningful relationship with. We see with Page of Swords, you're going to be very busy, very excited, and you're going to have a lot on the go. And this is why you're getting the message, take time to breathe out. Because amongst all of this, my dear Cancers, you must take time for yourself. It is very important for Cancerians to every now and then to withdraw into their shell, to replenish, reflect, do a meditation, light a candle, read a good book, do something that relaxes and calms you. There is a lot going on here. There is going to be many relationships that are going to be affected in terms of growth and expansion. Just remember, the most important relationship you have is the relationship you have with yourself. Don't neglect yourself. Don't forget yourself. Nurture yourself, be kind to yourself, and my dear Cancerians, this blue moon period can be an exceptionally colourful and exciting period for you. Now, my dear Cancerians, the number 36 for you over the blue moon period, which, if you remember, you will feel for at least a week before and a week after the 19th of August. Three and six are your lucky numbers, so any combination or variation that comes up, please consider very auspicious when it comes to what we have seen and spoken about. This is truly going to be an expansive period for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful and meaningful blue moon period and I am sending you all so much love.